Hi there, I'm Amy Shajai and I'm an animal behavior consultant. I am not a veterinarian, but I do a lot of veterinary writing. And I thought during this time uh, when it's a little bit more difficult to get our pets into the veterinarian to get help, I thought I'd share some of my more popular blogs. Uh, I may actually get uh, a few tips from <laughs> my own furry helpers here. This is Karma and uh, so I'm going to put him to the side so that I can actually share with you one of my most popular blogs. Here you go, buddy. And yes, I need glasses. So here we go. Dogs swallowed objects. Symptoms and first aid for dogs eating objects. Swallowed objects kill dogs and puppies every day. Now, eating foreign objects often causes only minor problems, but it's important to recognize swallowed objects, the symptoms, and what you can do to save your dog. Dogs explore their world by mouthing, tasting, and chewing. And as a result, swallowed objects get them into trouble. Puppies may gulp some things accidentally when a piece of a toy breaks off. Other dangerous objects prove too tempting. Use tampons. Even grease-smeared foil proves irresistible to puppies who troll the wastebasket for scraps. Foreign body obstruction in puppies can be a medical emergency that costs you money and could cost your puppy his life. Here's some common swallowed objects. Veterinary pet insurance claims rank the top 10 most common items surgically removed from pets' gastrointestinal tracts. Most common item is socks, followed by underwear, pantyhose, rocks, balls, chew toys, corn cobs, bones, hair ties or ribbons, and sticks. Most items tend to be owner-scented objects, but the list doesn't stop there. Whole toys or parts of toys, jewelry, coins, pins, erasers, and paper clips are often swallowed. String, thread with or without the needle, fishing hooks and lines, Christmas tree tinsel and yarn. These are very dangerous. String from turkey roast is particularly appealing, so watch for those holiday food hazards. And for puppies able to crunch up the object, Pieces of wood or bone prove hazardous. Even too much of a rawhide chew can stop up his innards. Puppies may even eat rocks. Now here's some first aid for swallowed objects if it happens within only two hours. If the item was swallowed within two hours, it's probably still in the stomach. If the object isn't sharp, feed your pet a small meal first and then induce vomiting. The food helps cushion the object and protects the tummy. And also, pets vomit more easily if the stomach is full. If he doesn't vomit, you'll need to see the veterinarian. Now for sharp objects, go to the vet immediately. Do not try to induce vomiting because it could cause just as much damage coming back up as it did on the way down. Now, after two hours, the object will have passed into the intestines and vomiting won't help. Most objects small enough to pass through the digestive system may be eliminated you know, with the feces and then cause no problems. Feed a bulky meal of, meal of dry food to cushion the stones or other heavy objects and help them move on out. Food also turns on the digestive juices that can help soften wads of rawhide treats so they pass more readily. In most cases, as long as it is small enough, objects pass harmlessly through the body and end up out on the lawn. Monitor your puppy or your dog's productivity. 
Use a disposable popsicle stick or a plastic knife to chop up and search through the droppings for the object. You want to make sure it's no longer inside your dog. The exception to allowing these small objects to pass are swallowed metal objects like coins or batteries. Don't wait with these. Get your puppy seen immediately. Stomach acids interact with these metal objects and can cause the zinc or lead poisoning leach out of the coins, out of the batteries, and causes even more problems. String is another dangerous object when swallowed. It requires you to seek some professional help. Now, if you've seen the pet swallow something he shouldn't, but it doesn't pass, or the dog begins vomiting, retching without results, won't eat, looks or behaves distressed, or repeatedly coughs, again, seek help immediately. Any object, even tiny ones, potentially may lodge in and block the intestinal tract. So what if you don't see your dog or your puppy or your cat, for that matter, swallow something? What are the symptoms you're going to look for? Um, the diagnosis can, of course, be based on watching your pet swallow something, but it also can be based on symptoms. Now, usually that's then confirmed by your vet with x-rays or other dog diagnostics like um, using an endoscope to put a tube down and a little camera and check things out on the inside. Uh, that can help determine the exact location of the blockage and the size. And it sometimes will actually identify the object itself. But the specific signs depend on where the blockage is located and what kind of object it may be. So an object that's caught in the stomach or intestines typically causes vomiting, and that may come and go for days or for weeks if the blockage is not complete, so food can still kind of you know, pass around the object. Now, a complete blockage is a medical emergency that results in a bloated or painful stomach with sudden, constant vomiting. The dog refuses food and immediately throws up anything that she drinks. Now, signs of zinc toxicity, this is from coins, include pale gums, uh, bloody urine, jaundice, that's a yellow tinge to the whites of the eyes or the inside of the ears, along with vomiting, diarrhea, and a refusal to eat. Uh, lead poisoning uh, from batteries can also cause teeth grinding, seizures, and hyperactivity, loss of appetite, and again, the vomiting. Copper poisoning has similar signs, plus the tummy will be swollen. String-type objects may be caught between the teeth in the mouth with the rest swallowed. With cats, oftentimes the thread gets wrapped around the base of the tongue and the rest of the thread goes down into the stomach. So here's a major warning about swallowed string and thread. Never ever pull on the visible end of the string, whether you see it hanging out of the mouth or hanging out of the the animal's rectum. String and thread are often attached to a needle or a fish hook that's embedded in tissue further down inside the uh, digestive tract. So pulling the string at your end could further injure the inside, the intestines. It could actually kill your pet. Now, intestines propel food by using muscle contractions called peristalsis. And that moves the entire length of the intestines. It's kind of, think how an earthworm moves, you know, contractions and expansion. That helps pull, uh, push the contents on through the digestive tract. But when a foreign object like string is caught at one end, the intestines literally can gather itself like fabric on a thread. That results in a kind of an accordion formation. The result is a sudden, severe vomiting and diarrhea and rapid dehydration. Your veterinarian should evaluate any kind of blockage situation to determine the best course of treatment. A surgery is often necessary to remove the obstruction. Now, 
Here's the veterinary treatment for swallowed objects. This is what you may expect your vet to do if this is diagnosed. If the blockage is not pr promptly addressed, the resulting damage may become irreparable. Sharp objects may slice or puncture the bowel. An obstruction may interfere with blood flow to the organs and cause the bowel tissue to die. Peritonitis is the result in either of those cases, and it usually kills the victim. So don't let this happen. Once located, the object should be removed. Veterinarian can sometimes do this with an endoscope down the puppy's throat or the dog's throat or in the other direction up through his rectum or sometimes with surgery. With the surgery, any, any internal damage then can be repaired. If the surgery can correct the problem before peritonitis sets in, most pets will fully recover. Should the tissue die, the damaged sections of the intestines may be removed and the living portions of the bowel reattached. These puppies and kitties have a, typically a pretty good prognosis. They, they generally are going to recover. Now, preventing problems is, of course, the most important. Most puppies outgrow indiscriminate munching. Adult dogs sometimes are going to graze. Cats sometimes are going to eat things as well. But the best course is preventing your pet from swallowing danger, dangerous objects altogether. So choose pet safe toys that can't be chewed into these tiny pieces and then supervise object play. Anything that a child would put in his mouth is fair game for puppies. My house I have cat toys and the dog is huge. The dog is 125 plus pounds. So any toy that Karma Cat has and is left around is fair game for the dog. I have to be careful and keep cat toys out of Bravo's reach. So puppy proof and dog proof your home. Just by think like your dog so that you won't be caught off guard when your dog eats the rubber bumpers off of the door stops. Now, many of these tips can be found in my book, The First Aid Companion for Dogs and Cats, and I'll include a link to find that. That's the book you hope you never, ever need to use, but you want to have it on hand just in case. Be safe. I do 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 do